Hi, this is Tim with RCNoob.com. A few videos ago, I was reviewing kind of the, the chassis makeup and the chassis setup on the Red Cat Racing Everest Gen 7 Sport, and I had also mentioned that Red Cat Racing was releasing some 3D printing files for accessories for this machine. Now, up until that time, you could only get those accessories either by purchasing the pro trim level of this vehicle, which this is the Sport model, uh, or you could buy those parts separately. And the parts, you know, such as fenders and running boards, things like that. Inner fenders, outer fenders. And the prices varied from, you know, $11 on up. Well, these 3D printed files or 3D printing files are great if you own a 3D printer. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have one myself. So I started printing out a few of these items. Uh, and I'll just show some of those off to you today. And if you have this model and you have access to a 3D printer or you have your own 3D printer, uh, these are just some parts and pieces that you too can print off and add to your machine. Now, the parts and pieces that's, that Red Cat Racing is releasing or the files that they're releasing range from scale accessories like this license plate border and frame to door handles. They also have some other components, outer fenders, inner fenders, those aren't necessarily scale items, well, I, I guess they are, but um, you may see them as more just filling out and completing the chassis. Well, the inner fenders, I printed off the left sides of those, are right here. This, if I remember correctly, like that. I think this is the rear. And this is the front. And again, these mount on the uh, to the chassis. And I'll show those off where they mount in just a second. These pieces are all well and good, and I was excited to see these. But I think the part that had me the most excited was actually under the hood. In its stock configuration, the uh, Everest Gen 7 has an exposed drive gear. And that's fine. However, I, I was going to design something myself to cover that up just so I didn't gnarl up my fingers or, or if my kids were driving, you know, have their fingers get pinched or, or chewed on by the gears. But Red Cat Racing released their own gear cover. And as you can see, it's got the Red Cat Racing logo on it. Might be a little hard to uh, make out with how dark and shadowy it is. Um, we'll just spin this around a little bit so you can see it a little bit easier. I did have to get slightly longer screws to mount through because of the thickness of the material see it from the top down uh, but it's it's a decent fit this part took about three to four hours to print I printed a few things um, since that so the time is a little fuzzy but you can expect to see a two to three hour three to four hour print time uh, for this piece I did print it solid infill I might have been overkill but I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of protection and made this solid enough to you know withstand any shocks or any any damage or hit hits that it may take from debris that might come up here. Now, one thing I have noticed when this vehicle was driving around, and I, I noticed it quite a bit this past weekend when I had this out, it does have an, a high pitched whine to it uh, where it didn't have that before. And I think over time that'll just eventually wear away, and you won't have that issue anymore. It is a very tight fit in here. Um, the, not a lot of room, not a lot of tolerance. Where these files are being released for free on Thingiverse.com. Again, the only hitch being if you don't have a 3D printer, you can't take advantage of them. Now back to these inner fenders. These are going to mount up. You remove your shock. They're going to mount up to uh, the front of the chassis frame. And there's going to be a component down here where the battery mount is. It would mount up there. Again, I think you're going to need longer hardware uh, to get those mounted up. Now the only reason I have not printed the right sides, complementary right sides for these yet, is how the file is set up. Um, when this prints, these printed as you see them here, flat side down, and then building up with the material. The right sides are flipped. So to print these accurately and to not have any sagging or any issues, I'm going to have to put a few supports in on the file before I go ahead and print it. Now, there aren't supports on the file that you download, so it's going to be a little bit of work uh, to do that. Not impossible. It's just I haven't had the time 
to uh, go about doing that yet. If you print these door handles, you see that they fit perfectly on the door and they look really cool as long as you figure out how to mount them. Now you could probably mount it through uh, either super glue, you could put some holes in the back. Again, I would mess with the file before printing it uh, to create some little holes, ream holes in here, put some tiny screws through. I would actually create a backing piece or backing plate to act as a washer on the back side so you don't end up pulling those tiny screws out. Uh, but the, again, there are a couple different ways that you can mount this. There may be a bit of trial and error involved when you know finding exactly how to mount or set these pieces up. It took a little trial and error for me to figure out how that uh, that motor shroud or gear shroud went on there. Uh, these pieces took me a little time to figure out exactly how I was going to mount them up when I do mount them up. But it's fun to have these parts and it's nice to have these parts. There's also a, a connecting piece that lays inside and it basically will bridge these two inner fenders underneath the body. So you can really seal off uh, the inside of your body and seal off to a, to an extent um, parts of the chassis so you don't have debris coming up there. And as I say that, I found debris from this past weekend. Uh, we had fun with this machine. If you haven't seen the video, my son had his Red Cat Racing RS10 out. I had this out. I just discovered before uh, getting this video set up. I'm missing a body pin, so I'm going to have to order a new set or go scour my backyard and find out where it went. Um, but we just had a good time. We crawled over some logs. We beat these two machines into each other. Um, he flipped his rig over. I tried to help him. We both ended up in a sticky situation, but it worked out. Um, we had a good time. I let him drive it. He really enjoyed driving this machine, so I think I will let him have a few more turns behind the wheel if he can pry the controller out of my hand. Um, I, I'm still working on my review for this machine, and I will do a dedicated review video for it. But I will say I am really greatly, hugely impressed by how this machine handles. Um, I, I, I was expecting big things from it, despite the, the low cost, relatively low cost. Um, and I really had my fingers crossed that Red Cat Racing would come to play with this rig. And by all... By all counts from my standpoint they have it has exceeded my expectations for just crawling on rocks it has been a great whoop, it's been a great trail machine it's just a, a great all-around vehicle and it's a perfect vehicle if you're looking to get into scale rc or the crawling scene or trailing scene or if you're just looking for something you know entry level to get your kids into the hobby um, again 199 dollars i think that's a low cost to pay a low, co low cost to spend to get into something and just try something out. And then if you don't like it, you can easily unload it. With that, I'm going to end this video showing off some of the 3D printed parts that you can find from Red Cat Racing. And again, Red Cat Racing themselves put these files out there. So kudos to those guys for making these parts and pieces available. You can find those at Thingiverse.com. Search for Red Cat Racing. All one word is the user. And I will put a couple links to these parts and pieces in the description for this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that as well. So once again, this is Tim with rcnoob.com. Till next time, keep your batteries charged up, keep your nitro topped off, and keep having fun with the RC hobby.